Well, Sunrise offered more than just the dawn of a new day. It was a celestial show unlike most of us have witnessed in our lifetime. CBS News' Vanessa Murdoch has a look at this morning's Sunrise Solar Eclipse. Before daybreak, eclipse enthusiasts gathered at Compo Beach in Westport, Connecticut, putting down blankets, setting up cameras, and pitching balloons. CBS 2's Lonnie Quinn was there, too, to watch the sunrise eclipse unfold. Hey, everybody, say, say hello to TV land. Much of the crowd, fifth graders from Sachs Middle School in New Canaan. Their teacher says the timing, impeccable. Why was it so important? Because this is very rare. We're studying the moon. We're studying the eclipse. Along the boardwalk down shore in Point Pleasant, a few came out in hopes the clouds would give way to the sun's display. That's where CBS 2's John Elliott camped out to watch. And boy, did the crew here get lucky. This is spectacular, isn't this it? This is incredible. You can't ask for anything better than this. What time did you get up this morning to see the eclipse? We didn't go to sleep last night. What? Razy and Ricky came equipped with Eclipse binoculars and homemade glasses. How does it look through the binoculars? What's it look like? Looks really cool. At Fort Lee Historic Park, nestled beside the majestic George Washington Bridge, the view glorious. And the viewing? Wow. Glad you came down now. Oh, absolutely. I showed up just before sunrise and witnessed the sun slide above the horizon. Looked more like the moon. Devil horns rising from the ashes. For Teddy Kim, the spectacle turned out better than expected. Someone told me last night that it was going to be like cloudy covering. At times, clouds did obscure it, but overall, the hour after daybreak couldn't have been more picture perfect. You got up early. What'd you think? It's very good. Awesome. What? What, do you, what, did you, what is your name, young lady? Abigail. Abigail. What did you think of it? Awesome. Awesome. That it was. From Fort Lee Historic Park, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.